Okay, so on this particular job, we showed up and let me go over here. This is a, this is a train, train condenser XL14i. It is a, I'm to get you over here and show you the, it's a 2000, 2006 14 sear. But uh, today we came out and the issue with this <clears throat> system, you can see here I got a, a Durango Bar 22. And I got my, got our, got our bullet yellow jacket pump hooked up. But the, the main issue with this job today was everything was checking out okay, but someone put a put a Goodman furnace and coil inside, and I think instead of them going back with something that was really compatible with R22, they either got a whole bunch of moisture inside of it or mixed it with some some weird. With, refrigerant you know because it was foaming up really bad so if the system just isn't performing the way it should and someone put some different refrigerant in there and you have a whole bunch of non condensables fighting against each other in the refrigerant line then um, you need to hook up a set of you can hook up a set of regular gauges like that right there we got our micron gauge to see that the, the vacuum is actually, you know, pulling it down the microns and just extract all the contamination in there and then put in, fill it up with the correct amount of pounds that the, that the main plate on the condenser has. So I guess the whole purpose of this video is just, uh, I'm going to post this on the, on the HVAC forum. Um, just sometimes you're testing a system homeowner just says it's not performing the way it should and um this can be it can be tricky to catch if you haven't ran into it before um shoot some more videos and post them later on